What's good, people? Exciting news. Today we introduce you to Minecraft's newest mob, the Dolphin. We dive into the brand new changes to water biome types, and we introduce you to the newest and latest in underwater technology, the Conduit. Find out more in today's latest snap. Hey guys, before this video starts, I wanted to really quickly announce that I'm going to be at the official Minecraft convention, Minefair, this April 14th and 15th, that's right, this Saturday and Sunday, in Los Angeles, and I'd love to see you there. If you happen to get yourself some tickets, you'll have an opportunity to meet me, do some selfies, get some stuff signed, and see some amazing panels alongside some of your other favorite Minecraft creators. And you can pick up some logged and merchandise as well. So if you want to find out more information about Minefair, you can check out the description of this video. With that, enjoy the snapshot. Hey, what's going on guys? Logdad Zip here, and like I said, welcome to the latest Minecraft Snapshot, 18W15A, part of the Minecraft Update Aquatic. Leo, you stupid little turtle got my way. I'm trying to do a showcase here. Anyways, in today's snapshot, there have been numerous new additions, including the new mob, the dolphin. There's probably a couple floating around, swimming around here. So let me find one. Look at him! He's right over here. He's adorable. Not only that, but there have been changes to brightness levels in the ocean so that they look a lot more eerie and get even darker the lower down into the oceans you get. And there's been a brand new crazy looking structure known as the conduit, as well as some new items known as like the Nautilus shell and the heart of the Nautilus and court. Just look at it. I don't even know what it's it's crazy and even got new conduit power Couldn't tell you what it does just yet But we're gonna find out together if you want to see more snapshots on the channel rise to come out You gotta let me know by dropping a like on this video, baby And of course subscribing and hitting that bell to be notified of every single Minecraft video right as it comes out I mean y'all gotta get your fix on these worlds, right? Yeah, okay good Well with that we can start and to be to start, we've got Stark, TMA, courtesy of today's world build. Thank you so much, Stark. You can check his channel linked in the description as well. First up, the dolphins. They spawn in every ocean that isn't frozen. we got a nice little book here. Explain more. Dolphins spawn in any ocean that isn't frozen. Right, well, they love playing with floating items and chasing after boats. And if you get upset, why one if you if you upset one of them they're all gonna attack you baby it's terrible really so what we're gonna go ahead and do is spawn in a couple of them oh they have cool sounds though too oh thanks Tuck. i appreciate it <laughs> we got a spawn egg right here that's gonna allow us to see some of our lovely dolphin friends and if you're wondering how you personally can figure out how to see better in oceans all you gotta do is type in the following effect if you do this, you'll be able to see underwater a lot better. Give yourself night vision. You see, now you can see everything. And to an extent, it works with water breathing as well. They kind of changed how Minecraft commands are typed in this. But now you got water breathing. Now you got night vision. Now you can see a little bit more about what's going on. These are the dolphins. Look at them. Oh my gosh. They're so cute. They're the best. Now, there's some interesting facts about the dolphins. They like to whistle because they think you're so hot. <laughs> more importantly, you can, in fact, feed them. And so look what happens when you do. They they love it. Oh, is he about to like, oh, I thought he was about to surface or something. Now, I'm not entirely sure just yet if we can actually cause dolphins to breed with one another. I don't really know. Can we get some nice and close? I'm trying to right click on these guys so they, come on, come on back. Nah, I don't look like it. And based on the little tiny spawn rate that we just tried, it didn't look like we actually got any baby dolphins either. Any, any baby dolphins here, boys? No. No baby dolphins. So far, I don't look like there's any baby dolphins. Can we lead these? Can we attach a lead to our dear dolphin friends? We're going to find out right here. Yes, you can. So you can lead them right off the bat. And one thing that is important to know, and there's a sign that says it later, that not every single mechanic of the dolphins has been added just yet. But what happens when you kill the dolphins? Well, I'm going to show you. you got, I'm sorry. Oh, he dropped a lead. Oh, it's because I had the lead, right. I was like, oh, that's an odd drop for a dolphin, huh? Now, every once in a while when you kill a dolphin, it will drop fish. This is supposed to be the fish that the dolphin was eating. And as you can see there, they just went for that fish. You see how they literally, look at him. Look, watch, they're all going <laughs> to, oh, yeah. They're literally toying with the fish. I'm going to just throw a whole bunch of fish all over, and I'm going to go mad with power. They're all going after the fish. They're, like, poking them, tossing them between one another. I'm going to summon in a boat. Summon boat. What's good with the boat? They gonna chase after the boat? Nah, it looks like it's too far. We'll put you right up here, huh? So I'm gonna hit a nice little boat. You going? Look! Oh, he got in it! Whoa! Whoa! They're going crazy! Look at these dolphins! I have no idea what's happening here. I assume something to do with the boats. Let's try and put one on the surface though instead. We got a boat. Now we'll put some dolphins around it. Y'all gonna do something? Oh, they jump! Oh, I haven't seen any of this yet. You all understand. I'm like looking at the snapshot for the first time with you guys. We got a little area to show off the jumping. We'll leave the boats for the time being. It looks like it makes enough sense. They they, they like boats and, 
and uh, it looks as though, and we're gonna play some good. <laughs> Y'all do your thing, boys. Keep the boat nice and ready for us. So, over here is where you can see some of the dolphins perform little tricks. They can jump over blocks, one block tall. Now, I, I don't know if there's necessarily a way to trigger it 100%, but given enough time, I'm pretty sure they'll just do it on their own. So, if y'all could work with me, it'd be much appreciated, dolphins. Please, dolphins, you're killing me. If you, yeah, maybe. Maybe it's because I'm not in survival mode? I mean, I don't really know what to be honest. Can we spawn in tonight? Hey, what's up, buddy? Look at him. Oh, push it. Hey, oh, yeah, I forgot. So they attack. This, oh, no. Oh, hey. No, 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 no. We got to get out. Come on. No, 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 no. Okay, game of creative. No, no, get in the game of creative. Ah. Look at these stupid dolphins messing with my death items. It's not fair. I want them back. I want to have fun. I want to be a dolphin. Well, look, you can see him jumping all over the place over here. You're just going to have to take my word for it that the dolphins, in fact, jump. Because they don't want to perform for me. I guess I didn't give them enough fish. Not a big deal. Again, we're going to move on for the time being. Again, more behaviors coming in the next snapshots. Including, I want to say, the ability to hold on to them to move quickly underwater. That was a feature I heard that was coming. It may not come in the snapshot. Why are they all drowning? What are you all doing right here? Oh! Oh, that was the saddest thing I've ever seen. Moving on. There have been numerous changes to the water type in Minecraft in the latest snapshots. Oceans. Every ocean biome has now a unique water color, and swamps are icky and gross. Yeah. We'll show you an example of that in a hot second. And there's also a new video setting known as the biome blend distance, which will allow you to blend these oceans together. If you don't understand what I'm talking about, look at this. You see, this water right here is a nice lighter blue color compared to this over here. That's because this is a cold ocean. You see, you can see right there, it's deep ocean. Gross, it's the worst. Then we move over to this nice lighter ocean, and you can see that we're now in a lukewarm ocean. In addition, the actual surface texture of water has been changed slightly. Colors have obviously been modified so that you can not only see more of the oceans underwater, but more importantly, you can actually see some of these textures have been updated a little bit as well. At least if I'm not mistaken, they may have not been, but I'm pretty sure there's a new looking texture. It looks like brand new. I can't really tell. How it looked before because we're obviously not in that version of Minecraft anymore. Let me show what biome blending does. <laughs> I said that funny. Anyways, you can go into your video settings right here. Scroll down just a little bit. You've got the biome blend. Here's what it looks like at a maximum of 15 by 15. You can see that the actual blending of the water types is now a little less pronounced. Whereas if we were to go ahead and switch this off to a different style of biome blend, to kind of keep a mental picture of this, maybe all, in fact, hold on a second. See, much better. This is what the oceans look like with zero biome blending in the oceans. And you can tell right away where the biome of the ocean begins and where it ends. And again, lighter underwater in these biomes and darker in these biomes. However, I gotta say, it's actually kind of dark in general. Well, we'll get down in a second, but I want to show you the swamp. And as you can see here, these are what the swamps look like. Nice and dirty and ucko. And in the last previous snapshot, I said that weird, uh, there were a couple things I didn't cover because it wasn't worth a whole snapshot, if you ask me. One of those things happens to be that you can now find seagrass in the underwater areas of swamps. Not kelp, it looks like, but seagrass. And as you can see, under the sea, under the sea, I'm sorry. You can see that it's nice and yellow and greenish because we're in the swamp. Get out in the swamp, they say. I'm curious to see what happens right as I switch out. Look at that, it instantly gets a yellow fella. Ooh, gross. And again, noting that the deeper you get in the water, the darker everything becomes around you. This is what the bottom of an ocean ravine looks like. It is almost completely plagued in dark. Look at me, you can't see nothing. This is what it looks like with night vision applied and with water breathing, there isn't much change. In fact, as far as I can tell, there is no change. One other change that came in the snapshots is that there are now sea pickles. Look at these little cutie pies that will spawn in the oceans and they give off their very own light source as well. So no longer do you need to have full blown blocks to give off light source and just like the eggs, you can add in multiple sea pickles to one spot and it will actually increase the light amount of that as well. Look at this. Look at you, you stupid. How come it's not letting me add more? I want to add more. And let me do it over here. Gosh, honestly, so tell me this doesn't look sick. Like, look at this right here. I am so impressed by how underwater looks now. Isn't that right, little fishies? I ate them. She's like, one pickle, two pickle, three pickle, four, five pickle, six pickle, six pickle, white, six pickle, seven pickle, more. And one of the final changes that came to the ocean in today's snapshot is the ability for you to swim through one by one holes. This was in one of the original updated aquatic snapshots. They removed it and then added it once again. If you were to try and stop swimming whilst you were underwater here, well, it doesn't let you go into normal. Well, okay, well. 
Maybe I don't know anything, huh? <laughs> We're now walking around. Oh, eek. Oh, it's really dark. Oh, I don't like that. That's terrible. But yeah, now you can swim through one by one hole. Pretty nice. In addition, items in flowing water will move way <laughs> faster compared to how fast they normally move. It's like a speed racer style. Look at this. And in the pocket edition version of the beta, you can actually place minecart rails in water, waterlog them. In the Java version, they break like this, but in the Bedrock version, it causes minecarts to move super fast as well. Final thing to talk about regarding oceans is the fact that a new block has been added into the frozen ocean biomes. Blue ice. Look at this guy. It can be found underwater growing wherever ice might be found in these deeper, darker, colder ocean biomes. And you can also make it if you happen across some packed ice. All you need is to turn nine packed ice into a little pile like that and you get blue ice. And if I'm not mistaken, the blue ice actually gives off a tiny little bit of light underwater. So if you happen to find some, you can see it glowing. Okay, I'm wrong. And now for the real reason you're here, guys. The conduit. Look at this thing. What is it exactly? Well, it's basically an underwater beacon that's going to make underwater living and breathing a heck of a lot easier. And it's comprised of two new items that you can find in your world. Those two items are the Nautilus Shell and the Heart of the Sea. Now you can find the Nautilus Shell from fishing in water using a fishing rod and you can find the Heart of the Sea in Buried Treasure. Although it is not yet currently spawning in Buried Treasure, that will be coming in a future update. So I'm going to see if we can get a nice hard Nautilus Shell on our first cast. Come on baby, fingers crossed! Ugh! Did, did, now I got a regular fish. Well you just got to take my word for it, I ain't going to be fishing this whole time. But once you have yourselves eight Nautilus Shells and one Heart of the Sea, you can make yourself a conduit. Look at this guy. It is actual block that comes with water right off the bat. You see this? And you got your little guy right in the middle there. However, this is going to take some activating. You need prismarine blocks in order to make it turn into its true form, which you can see right over here. A grand total of 16 prismarine blocks is needed in order to make this guy work properly. And once you've built it in this following shape, you can actually take use of its conduit power. What does the conduit power do? Well, allow me to explain by going into survival mode. As you can see right here, we are not losing any of our water breathing functionality, even though we do not have any water breathing nearby. It's because the conduit power gives you access to water breathing as well as vision underwater. And it also acts as a haste underwater, which will let you mine a lot faster. You know, we don't have aqua affinity right now, but we can still see that the pickaxe is moving way faster without it. So imagine, in fact, hold on. Now we have an aqua affinity helmet on. Look how fast we are able to mine underwater. Again, when we're kind of floating, it doesn't work nearly as fast. But look at this! It's great! This is going to make building underwater and mining subsequently so much easier compared to without the conduit power. And what's more is you can actually power the conduit by adding more prismarine around it. You see this? It's like gathering power from the prismarine blocks. Over here is basically the minimum you need in order to get it to work properly. And you got all those orange things being sucked from the blocks. But if you manage to put even more more prismarine blocks all around it, it will work in an even greater area and give you more and more conduit power. And if you happen to have enough prismarine blocks around one of your conduits, it will deal damage to nearby mobs. Yeah! Built-in security system. Look, it's, I'm gonna spawn in a drown. Look at him. Yo, he sucks. Ooh, this one came with a trident. Now, speaking of tridents, tridents, I mean, speaking of drowns, shut up, whatever. Drowns have a rare chance of actually spawning in with a nautilus shell in their hands as well. Well, there's some heavy damage. You gotta get these for your underwater. With all that said, though, my friends, you've pretty much got the glimpse of the latest snapshot in video form. We've got conduits. We've got dolphins. We've got our heart of the sea. It said that weird. We've got nautilus shells. We've got changes to the oceans. We got blue eyes. We got it all. If you enjoyed today's snapshot, make sure you drop a like on it. It's much appreciated. It doesn't take much effort on your part, right? You know, baby. And of course, subscribe and hit that bell to be notified of every single Minecraft video. Right as it comes out, there'll be plenty more snapshots right up to the release of the update Aquatic, and you can be sure to find them on here first. And if not first, well, at least probably best because our editing is on point. Anyway, shouts out to everyone watching. Hope you all have a great day, and we will see you later.